November 1948, Americans picked their president. Dewey, Dewey. Dad, I'm telling you, Truman wins. Harry Truman triumphs by two million votes. Not if I can stop that inauguration. I win, Dad. That means I get to choose today's father-daughter activity. We're building homes for the homeless. Dad, what is that? Well, if Bart can be El Barto... Can you hold it? This is a Band-Aid wrapped in tin foil. My reel ring's inside a turtle. Are you sure we'll find husbands here? Hello? Wedding ring tan line. He's new on the market. Mm. Can I help you? Maybe. I'm Lindsay Nagel, and I don't want to spend another fiscal year alone. You're listening to Radio Disney. The songs you love, rewritten for babies. Put up the milk out. Yuck, 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 yuck. yuck, yuck, yuck. yuck. Put up the, the milk, milk out. out. And that's how my beautiful wife brought our son Bart into the world. Uh, homie, are you as attracted to me as you were when we met? And sometimes I worry you might think about other women. Hey, why would I want Purina when I got Fancy Feast right here? Bart, remember when I was crying at recess? I think I'm finally ready to tell you why. Let's see what's on TV. Struggling in vain? <laughs> Gather your wits, old chum. We seem to have fallen prey to that painted Pagliacci of perfidy. <laughs> Sweet Valley High! Krusty played a Batman villain? Who? Ha! He! Show our guest to the Twirly Gates! <laughs> oh, cool! We should try that at school! Hey, yeah! You could try it on me! Manjula, remember when Apu cheated on you? I'm worried Homer might do the same thing. What I do now, I do as your dearest friend. Look at this bob. Look at it! Oh, my God. I, I need some liposuction. Just enough to make me attractive to this man. One ten-minute suck and tuck. Hmm. Hmm. That's funny. Hmm. I don't feel sucked out. What on earth have you done? My McGuppies became bazongas. Accidentally giving me breast implants is not a simple misunderstanding. Just come back in 48 hours, I can remove the implants. I'm a little worried about this spinning, Bart. Do it, Otto. Do it, do it, do it! You're the boss, kid. <laughs> Boys, you know the drill. Hey, what's going on here? Something crazy? There's your queen bee. Explain yourself, Simpson. Uh, I saw Krusty do it on TV. Then Krusty will feel my wrath. The spritz has hit the fan. No. <laughs> Oh, sweetie. <laughs> Locally, two school children offended veterans, educators, and flag hags while imitating a stunt they learned watching TV's Krusty the Clown. Bart, this is all your fault. Don't worry. Krusty always lands on his feet. <laughs> Making it the latest Segway scooter accident to claim over 1,000 lives. Not feeling well, going to bed, dinner and breakfast are on the table. Well, someone's tucked into an insane degree. Good night. Hey, give me some of those blankets. Huh? What's this? It's enormous. Now, don't get too used to these. That awful doctor said he'd take them out in a couple of days. Yeah, he truly is a monster. Hey, let's go out to dinner tomorrow. Just you, me, the kids, and the twins. Mom, Lisa pushed me in the laundry basket. Whatever Bart is saying is a lie. <gasps> Mom, what happened? Your endowment's bigger than Harvard's. Well, that cinches it. Ha, boy, oh, boy, are ha, I presume you want the table. Right this way. Wow, Mom, your guns got us a great table. Right by the lobster tank. Mom, doesn't it bother you that they're giving you all this attention just because of those? 
That's not true, Lisa. There are a lot of complicated issues here that can only be explained through song. You're like X-Men number three in a Mylar bag. You're a brand new muscle car, and all the wheels are mag. You make me feel as young as the blood I get from sheep. You're a Sunday underneath two great big cherries. Keep in mind they're only temporary. Hooray! Kiki Highsmith, Highsmith Modeling. Forget it, Kiki. You're not putting your brain into her body. That's not why I'm here. I can offer your wife a lot of modeling work. Maybe I'll just keep these. And now, one of Of Midcon's faces to watch 2003, rookie spokesmodel, Marge Simpson. Whoa, whoa. Gentlemen, say hello to Springfield's newest supermodel. You're a lucky man, Homer. Yeah, this is the longest I've ever gone without looking at Letty. Are you ready to shoot this apple off my head? Well, if by shoot you mean teach, and by my head you mean safety, then yes. Aw, oh, man, now they won't let Krusty do anything fun. Hey, we got Krusty into this, we'll get him out. We just have to make him a hero again. Maybe if we cut his foot off, people will feel sorry for him. It didn't help your dad get your mom back. <sighs> hey, Krusty. How'd you get in here? The doorman died. Oh, no, he was my agent. Listen, I have a plan that will make the world fall in love with Krusty the Clown again. <laughs> oh, this is my Woodstock. <laughs> A rogue elephant, played by my old friend Stampy, is about to crush sweet young Millhouse. Then you run up and save the day by saying Stampy's safety word, Magumbo. I'm tired of trade show modeling. My back really hurts. You seem unhappy, so I'm going to inject this smile solution into your jaw. Did you just drug me? What the? 89% of Americans would rather have a shoehorn than a computer. Hell! this promising young honor student. Hey, hey, hey! I'll save the day! Columbo! No, that's not it. Modesto! Atari! Nintendo! Oh. I'm on it! Be careful! Uh-oh! Uh Alright, aim for the big hose coming out of his face. Hey, cops! Check out this all points bulletin. Oh. Hey, that's it. My gumbo. You saved Krusty's reputation. Kids, I'd like to reintroduce you to Classic Marge. I finally feel like me again. You're not disappointed, are you? Not at all, sweetie. Let's go get fried chicken. Do 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 all right, I raise a quarter. How about? I'm out. I'm out. Oh. Homer, you want any cards? Homer! I'm in. Let's see a card. We'll have a straight flush, Homer. Go! You do this every time! You're... Oh, you... Hey, don't yell at Homer. Just because he's a little slow. <laughs> so, anywho, last night we're playing poker, right? And Lenny says that I'm... Uh... <laughs> Get this. <laughs> A little slow. Hmm. We don't think you're slow. But on the other hand, it's not like you go to museums or read books or anything. Oh, who am I kidding? If you feel so bad about yourself, there's always things you can do to feel better. Take another bath in malt liquor? There's that. Or you could take an adult education course. <laughs> See, that ping sound means the spit was on target. Now you try. Wait a minute. Even Lenny is teaching a class. What is your area of expertise? Well, I can tell the difference between butter and I can't believe it's not butter. No, you can't, Mr. Simpson. No one can. Oh, I failed again. Everybody can teach a class but me. We need someone to teach a course on how to build a successful marriage. I'll do it. <laughs> Look, everyone. Now that I'm a teacher, I've sewed patches on my elbows. I think it's great you're a teacher, Dad. 
Oh, Homer, what a pleasant... Can't talk now, Flanders. I've got a class to teach. <laughs> but you rang my... It's all right. I'm a teacher. All right. The first thing they told me to do is to make sure everyone here is in the right class. <laughs> now the hall, room 12. Thank you. Hmm. I was sitting in the car. No talking. <clears throat> uh... Um, how about if we tell you our problems with relationships? Yeah, yeah, that'll eat up some time. My problem is I'm a real user of women. I move in right away and stay until the money's gone. I was married once, but uh, I just didn't know how to keep it together. Mr. Simpson, are you listening? Simpson? Huh? Yeah, I was listening. Very funny. Well, you see, marriage is a lot like an orange. First, you have the skin... Then the sweet, sweet inner joy. Oh, let's get out of here. Thank you. Excuse for education. Oh, I told Marge this wouldn't work the other night in bed. In bed? In bed? Huh? What? Well. I was telling Marge that we could save some money if she only dyed her hair once a month. Huh? Marge dyes her hair? Oh, yeah. Oh, Mrs. Simpson, it may interest you to know we are having a sale on blue dye number 52. It is your hair color, I believe. Homer, I really don't like you telling personal secrets in your class. But you should have seen him, Marge. He really wanted to hear what I had to say. Mm, I'm happy about that. But I think you can be a good teacher and still respect our privacy. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth! Don't ever tell them personal stuff about me again! Yes, ma'am. Now, what is a wedding? Well, Webster's Dictionary describes a wedding as... Uh... I guess he's run out of stories. I do have a story about two... Other young Mary. Now, the wife of this couple has an interesting quirk in the bedroom. It seems she goes wild with desire if her husband nibbles on her elbow. What the darn? Marge, you'll never guess what. My whole class is here. So, little Lisa, apple of my eye, how are things down at the old schoolhouse? I find this demeaning and embarrassing beyond my worst nightmares. <laughs> Here. Me too. <laughs> well, now that the little ones have toddled off to bed. I want this to end now. Everybody out. Ooh, she's gonna have it. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. You two. Huh? Get out. But I'm not in the clip. <laughs> Come on, Marge, let me in. There's crickets out here. Okay, March. Things were said, mistakes were made. Let's end this madness and get on with our lives. It'll never happen again. Hey, Homer, what's the big brew? <laughs> oh, Marge is throwing me out for blabbing about her elbow thing. <laughs> Honey, the door blew shut. Kids, your father and I are going through a really tough time right now, and I don't know what's going to happen. But just remember that both your mom and your dad love you very, very much. Earth Base, this is Commander Bart McCool. We are under attack by the Zornid Brain Changers. Quickly, into the safety dome, Milbot. Affirmative, humanoid. Yeah. Oh, good. Reverend Lovejoy will make Marge take me back. He has to push the sanctity of marriage, or his god will punish him. Get a divorce. Mm hmm. Hmm. Good night, Marge. Oh, why didn't I take a picture? I had ten years to take a picture. Here, Dad. I brought you some nice... Ah! Good news, Lisa. I don't need your mother anymore. I've created a replacement that's superior to her in almost every way. Look, I brought you some nice pudding. Oh, I miss Marge. Lisa, you're smart. Help me trick her into taking me back. Dad, you can't trick somebody into loving you. Good luck, Dad. All right, Brain. It's all up to you. If you don't think of what it is, we'll lose Marge forever. Eat the pudding, 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 eat the pudding. Oh, hi, Marge. I heard you and Homer broke up, so I'm declaring my intentions to move in on his territory. I'm very flattered, but I'm not really interested. Why don't you come inside for a drink of water? Okay.
Mo! What are you doing here? I, um, well, I, I never touched a homo. Homo, I swear I never touched a... Hi, Mo. Homo, what happened to you? Marge, I figured out what I can give you that no one else can. A bouquet of po... Oh, I give up. Oh, my tattered rags are caught on your coffee table. Wait a minute. Wait, that's it? I know now what I can offer you that no one else can. Complete and utter dependence. Homer, that's not a good thing. I need you to take care of me, to put up with me. And most of all, I need you to love me, because I love you. Oh, it's great to be indoors with my family. I'm really glad you're back, Dad. I knew you could do it. <laughs> but I'd screw it up. So, Marge, are you really happy? Really? Hey, Mo. Ah! <laughs> Millhouse, watch me make a loser lose it. Excuse me, I just heard that before Spider-Man was a movie, it was a comic book. Is that possible? Amazing Fantasy number 15! Yeah! Ooh, 12 cents! I'll take eight. What the... You idiot! Mint condition copies are like $40,000 each! Must lie down! Huh? What's this? Every man? He's not a hero from Marvel, DC, Image, or Wildstorm. It was a typical day for delivery man, Avery Man. Until... Help! Every man absorbs the powers of every superhero whose comic book he touches. Power absorption power. Absorb! Good afternoon, gentlemen. <laughs> uh, put me in Sing Sing! It's safer! Ooh. Hmm. Going somewhere? Every man will stop every crime every time. And I am every man! Put my comic down. Every man is awesome! Reading it, I escaped from my troubles! Now they're back in spades. Have you shown this to anyone? No. If copies got out, it would be ridiculed by the online community. Don't be afraid of them. Comic book guy's been writing these for years. Who knew a troubled person could be creative? Yeah, still waters run deep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so rich. I'm so rich. All right, what's our next big summer franchise? Come on. You want an original idea? Yes. Let your imaginations run free. Something that's never been a movie before, but feels like it has. Dad, can we go? I've watched all the DVDs in the Bentley. Jonah, what's that in your hand? Oh, big surprise that you don't know what this is. It's only every man, the coolest comic book ever. We at Ginormous Pictures are incredible fans and think every man would make a fantastic movie. Oh, really? The way you thought Stratego would make a good movie? Let me get to the point. It is not money I am after, or women. I know that is impossible. What I want is to pick the actor who will play every man. <sighs> Fine. You got it. Thank you. <sighs> I played hardball with Hollywood. The closest I will ever come to playing a sport in my life. Do you know where you can buy ink for an Amiga brand fax machine? Uh, thank you. That was great. You want to see it any other way, like sad or... Come on, comic book guy. You've got to pick someone. We've already read three people. Can you help me out? I need change for a dollar. Oh, I also need a dollar. Homer, we have a problem. Not one thought you looked like a superhero. Several people stared at the sun, attempting to blind themselves. We need you to slim down, muscle up, and become the everyman people want to be, instead of the one they actually are. I don't know if I can. Lyle McCarthy. Finally, the answer to my problem. What do you do? He's the trainer to the stars. Here's what Brad and Angelina looked like before they met me. Hmm. He 
you sure that guy who created Everyman's gonna like this? Him? He's gone Hollywood. Homer, do you know why you eat? Because I'm swallowing my frustrations and disappointments? Something bad happens and you cope by cramming a donut in your mouth. <sighs> 10,001, 10,002, and fit. I gotta take this. Toby! Cider House rules! If the rice ain't brown, don't chow down. Look, I gotta bail. I'm with every man right now. No, 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 no. Don't worry. He totally sucks. I'm only lying to him. Goodbye! Bad bye. Stripper <laughs> up, fireman down. <clears throat> and sexy. <clears throat> Heroic. <clears throat> well, I think we've seen the last of the purple pariah. Thanks, every man. Don't thank me. Thank Captain America for giving me the patriotism to want to save the president's life. Oh, honey, take your shirt off again. Oh, there's less of you to love, but I love you even more. Life is the greatest. I get paid a fortune, I've got a closet full of free sneakers and watches, and I get to hire my friends. At least you get to see my face, unlike Carl. I'm being paid to do what I love. Homer Sapien, can I have a word with you? I know this is a bad time, but I'm leaving for another gig. But how will I keep from overeating? Just remember what I taught you. Goodbye. <laughs> One cheese cube couldn't hurt. Oh, this other cheese cube stuck to the first one. Well, that still technically counts as one. Avery, I swear, you're the only man in Gothamopolis who's never seen every man. Well, one thing's for sure, I'm not every man. <laughs> oh, Marge, I'm ready for some loving. Come and get me! Apu, I have to lose weight now. Do you have anything that'll make me vomit? Well, I don't know. I might have some milk that has expired. Ah, here we are. Whatever you do, do not chew the chunks. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Clean up in aisles three, two, one. Where's Homer? In his trailer. He won't come out? He can't come out. Ugh. This film is an embarrassment of Jarjarian magnitude. <laughs> How you doing, man? Ooh, I think we have a clunker here. Half the shots he's fat, half the shots he's thin. It's taking me out of the moment, like when you're kissing a girl and she burps. Who is in charge of continuity on this picture? I tried to show them the Polaroids. They wouldn't look. Homeboy. What happened, dude? You went from every man to everywhere, man. What happened is you left. Who did you leave me for? Come on, home run. It's okay, home alone. Look, I'm sorry. Let me make this up to you. I'll train you. Then leave you again. Then come back and train you. It's how I make my money. Look, comic book guy, about the movie. We know it's not great. But you created every man. Your fans will think whatever you tell them. If you put the word out that this movie is good, we'll let you direct the sequel. Hmm. Sell my store for Hollywood lucre, or stay true to my lofty ideals. If there's one fault to find with this $200 million production, it is that this is the worst movie ever! And send and sip.